Speaker, I rise today to talk about names. My name is Guratan Singh. It means the jewel of the bringer of light into darkness. It connects me to my Sikh spirituality and my culture. It's my North Star and it reminds me of who I am. I think of all the beautiful names that exist in this world. Names like Mansam, which means the literature of the heart. Names like Abdullah, which means the servant of God. Indigenous and First Nation names like Tohrewate. A name is more than just a name. When we are born, it's one of the first things that we recognize, one of the first words we learn to say, and it's how the world identifies us. It's powerful, and it's why we must say our names properly and have them said properly. But for many people with diverse names, they often live their lives with the names mispronounced. They often respond by changing their names and often anglicizing it out of shame. I once met a young student. His name was Japman. It means the mind which is lovingly imbued towards the divine, a mind that meditates. He pronounced it as Jatman, and when I corrected him, he laughed embarrassingly, embarrassingly. He laughed like this because after years of having his name mispronounced, he was ashamed of hearing his name said the correct way. Often this issue arises in the classroom where we've made a lot of progress, but the reality is that the staff in our school still don't fully reflect the diversity of the classroom. And the result is that students often have their names mispronounced, which often renders them invisible. This has real consequences on students. It hurts them academically, it impacts their confidence, and the problems that can often follow them throughout their life. So I rise to say, let's celebrate our names. Let's celebrate the unique differences that make, it, make us who we are, and let's work to create a society where our names are signs of pride, signs to really hold within us, and something that we can all celebrate collectively. Thank you, Speaker.